So WWDC 22 is coming around the corner in a matter of a two few days. And iOS 16 is expected to have two few major changes similar to iOS 15. So in this video, I will be explaining what we should be seeing for iOS 16. Starting with the lock screen. Finally, it is expected to get a redesign with more customization and feasibility. Specifically, there will be wallpapers that support widget-like capabilities similar to this one and notifications will finally have different color banners per app, especially when it comes to Do Not Disturb, plus an exclusive always-on display feature for the iPhone 14 Pro and possibly the iPhone 13 Pro lineup due to promotion. Moving on to its home screen, app icons will finally get a redesign for after almost 5 years. It is currently unknown if the design will be similar or exact to macOS or not, but we will also get a major redesign to its control center to resemble more of macOS, and similar features to iPadOS including 4 apps into the app switcher instead of 1 and likely 2 apps in one screen. In other words, multitasking. The Messages app is also expected to have more audio messaging features, but unfortunately, there is no specific information about this yet by the time this video is planned or published. And Wallpaper Settings will finally have a new interface where you can have smart gradient options plus force dark mode in most websites when using Safari. Now, in terms of what devices could be compatible for iOS 16, Based on my experience on iPadOS, despite a different software and someone's experience, any device with 2 gigs of RAM will still go through or get supported for iOS 16 and for the next upcoming years, despite rumors say otherwise. As it's not really showing its age and its performance is pretty much okay, so there's no reason to discontinue it at this time. And check out one of these videos above me about what we could almost fully expect for the M2 MacBook Air or what to expect for the iPhone 14. This is Yuri from Yuri Tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.